So you're looking for some Florida native landscaping. Well, you're in the right place because we've been taking this area from totally blah and invasive plants to a native garden wonderland. And today we're gonna to be covering spotted bee balm, also known as horse mint. Scientific name, Monarda punctata, also known as spotted bee balm or horse mint. So spotted bee balm is gonna grow anywhere between one and six feet tall. Yeah, another one that can get really big. But typically in Florida, it grows two to four feet tall. And what's interesting about this plant is once it gets to a certain height, it tips on over, which is naturally what happens. So that's kind of a unique thing. This plant's also gonna like full sun, it's drought tolerant, and it's gonna grow in zones eight, nine, and 10. So let's get back to the plant that tips, right? So here's the thing, because it's gonna do this, you wanna prune it in early summer before it goes into bloom, because it's gonna bloom all summer and fall, which is really exciting, right? And here's the thing, the flowers are green, now somebody out there is watching this and they're going like, no, no, I have it. it, it no, it's got like whitish flowers or pinkish flowers and they've got these spots on it, hence the name spotted bee balm. Well, apparently that's not the flower. Those are called bracts. They're kind of, I don't know, it's like kind of like the leave-ish part and they're gonna change colors, but the actual flower part's like underneath it. Interesting fun fact. I guess it's some weird scientific thing, but who cares? It's still gonna be pretty, whether it's called the flower or a bract tomato tomato to me right and here's who's gonna like it I mean I think it's in the name right the bees the bees are gonna like this plant apparently from listening to all my Florida native gardening friends the bees like love it love it I guess it's like the bees knees <laughs> old joke <laughs> So what's great about this is that we're gonna help those pollinators in the summer and we're gonna help them in the fall. The plant does typically die back in the winter time. I'm not really sure in my zone if it's going to because a lot of stuff that they say it's gonna die back typically happens in North Florida, but mine's on the edge of 9B, 10A, so it may just be fine the way it is. Yeah. And you know what else about the plant? It's high in thiamol. I know. You probably were like me and you have no idea what the heck that means. I know, I, know, I had no idea. But apparently it means it's high in antibacterial, antifungal, and antiseptic. Which cool. So I guess apparently the Native Americans used it to treat things like hookworm and ringworm and they used it to make a sweating tea. So that's a thing that happened. But. I don't know if any of that works. I couldn't find any research that validates any of that other than we just have historical records. But what we do know is that you can definitely use this as an oregano and a thyme alternative. Yeah, so instead of trying to make those plants from the other side of the world grow here, you can grow this and just dry the leaves, grind them up, and now you got oregano and thyme. I mean, not, you got spotted bees palms, but you get what I'm saying. Like you can, you can use it the same way. Now, is it an exact substitute? I would say it kind of smells oregano-ish. Okay, like again, I say this, I'm not very good with the spices, but what I definitely do get is you get kind of, I mean, I think it's in the name, horse mint. It, it has a little bit of a mint taste to it, and, but there's something else that's more savory I would put in it. I, I need to learn more about herbs. I, maybe I'm gonna do that. I'll do a video where we're gonna just compare some herbs because I have no idea, but apparently you can use it, and I'm going to. Future work for me. Now you're all excited because you're gonna use this like an oregano or a mint or a thyme or you're gonna just make some relaxing tea with it all good things so you want to know how to get more of it right well of course we're gonna propagate it through cuttings or seeds with this plant so when I think about spotted bee balm and our goals well, shade, no. Native plant, absolutely, what wouldn't it be? 
habitat for our animals, not from that sense, but when we talk about food, it's definitely food for the bees and it's food for us. So check, check on that front. And then of course there is the look. I think with this plant, with the texture and those flower brack things going on, look. And it also fills in one of those other goals, which is to fill in this open space behind the Pineland Lantana. So check on that one. But I have another spot over here that I gotta fill and I'm gonna be using Stokes Aster. And that's what's up next. And to make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notification. New videos each week on Friday and sometimes a bonus on Sunday. And if you're looking for some other fun bonuses while you wait, go ahead and check out the join button down below. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.